Hi, I'm Bob Hot Rod Roar from Coffee, and I want to talk a little bit about thermostatic radiator valves. They're often referred to as TRVs, thermostatic radiator valves. Cluffy makes a very nice, unique one. Like everything that from Cluffy, we've got some unique components that nobody else in the industry has, so I want to show you. In fact, there's so much to talk about with thermostatic valves, we're going to break this up into two separate videos. This is a complete assembly with the body and the actuator on it. I think we're going to talk about just the actuator first, and we'll come back and we'll do a separate one on that. But that's what an assembled component would look like. Probably the most common application for this valve is going to be on a panel radiator or a towel bar. You'll get a panel radiator that will typically come with the valve already in them and then you just have to put the actuator on. So they'll come with this little protective cap, which is an on and off a button by the way. If you wanted to use that manually, you could by screwing that on or off. But then what you want to do is you want to take the actuator, back it off to the highest setting there and screw it on there. And that's what it's going to look like in a typical application. So now let me tell you what's unique about this valve and why we like this so much. This is a non-electric valve, so there's no wiring required to this valve, which makes it very unique. It can be put anywhere in a building. You don't have to be able to get thermostat leads down to, to be able to regulate this valve. It's also a proportional valve, so what it does is, as the temperature goes through this and the sensor um, inside there responds to that, the disc on the uh, valve just slowly moves, so it's a proportional valve. It's not like a, a motorized zone valve where it's full on and full off, which it makes this pretty unique that for a non-electric valve to be able to regulate that is a nice function. So. Um, we offer this in a bunch of different styles and there's a number of different reasons why we offer so many different versions of it. Let me just talk about the different versions and then I'm going to get in the cutaway and show you the functions inside. Sometimes what happens with a panel radiator, they'll be installed in a building where maybe somebody's put furniture in front of it, maybe put a couch there, there's some drapes hanging over it, and it's not regulating the temperature properly. Well, what's happening is it's trapping that heat in behind there, and now the sensor can't actuate. So we make one that has a, um, a capillary tube that you can extend the sensor bulb to remote locations. Sometimes that's put right under the, um, the radiator down towards the end, about four inches off the bottom there. So just enough so it can get the, um, the air currents through it, the convective currents, so it can sense the temperature. Maybe another, why we give you a lot of lead, maybe you could remote mount this, you know, up on the wall a little bit. It does have a nice little um, cover that goes over it, so if you do want to remote mount it somewhere where it's going to be visible, you can snap it inside of there, fasten that to the wall, and now the sensor is hidden underneath that cover, so it's going to dress it up a little bit. Same function, it's the same valve really, that we're just putting the, um, the sensing bulb remotely on it. Another one along those same lines is this one here is a wall mounted one. And what this gives you now is the adjustability up on the wall with a nice um, enclosure. So typically you would mount that on the wall. You can see it's got holes to fasten it in. It's got a long capillary tube with the, um, the mechanism to actuate the valve now that goes down on the, um, on the radiator. Then of course it has a nice cover to go over it. Let me show you the inside here a little bit. What we do differently than some of the other brands out there is we use a liquid filled um, actuator in here and what we do uh, with a liquid that you can't do with a vapor or a, um, a wax filled is we can get a lot more um, force on it. So what that'll mean is that you, uh, since it's a non-compressible liquid, now when you have this on a valve like this, you can have a really stiff spring in there which gives you a good ability so this valve isn't going to seize up over the period of time when it's not being used. So in order to push against a stiffer spring like that, we're going to have to give you a little bit more power in the actuator and that's what we do here by using the liquid filled. So the way this works, come on inside here and I'll take, a, take you on a tour. So this little yellow part here in the cutaway is where the liquid's going to be in there. And so what's going to happen now, it's going to sense the room temperature, the ambient air temperature is going to come through these little slots in it and it's going to actually warm up that little aluminum housing that has the liquid in it. Now as that liquid warms up, that little bellows that, I don't know if you can see that bellows in there, is going to expand and it's going to push that, um, that little pin up and down which of course engages to the pin on the radiator and that's how the valve works. It's so simple, it's incredible. And now you can see how that can be proportional. So if a little bit of temperature change is just going to move that pin by a little bit and it's going to proportion how much uh, um, flow is going through that. So it's going to really nail the temperature. Very accurate, very um, unique valve, very common on uh, uh, retrofit applications too where you can't get wires if you're going to retrofit a building and put radiators in a lot of different rooms. Um, this is a great valve to use because um, you don't always have the ability to get wires up to it. A couple other uh, little things that we've got, a little um, 
attachments and little uh, options we have for it. Let me put this back on and I'll show you what can happen here. So on this valve you'll notice there's a bunch of different numbers and that's where you set the temperature. The higher the number, the warmer the valve actuates. Well what we've done on our control is we've put a snowflake on it and that's a freeze protection mode. So let's say it's in a, in a property where you're going to go on vacation or it's a, maybe it's a rental property. If you put the arrow on that snowflake, it's going to maintain this at 40 degrees so the, the building or the radiator can't freeze up, but it's not going to be lot, using a lot of heat energy. It's not going to be running up your gas bill while you're gone. So that's a nice, and the snowflake is the indication of the freeze protection uh, uh, position on that. And now another thing you can do is you can put this tamper um, tamper resistant cover on and basically what this does is you um, just put this over it like this and we've got two tamper proof screws that go into it and now nobody can get to this valve to take it off here or tamper with it so that's another nice feature and it blends in nicely with the look of the, um, of the valve there. Another feature that you're really going to like about this valve here is you got the ability to limit this um, valve for two different positions. You can limit for a maximum and you can also limit it where you can lock it into one position. I'm going to show you how to do that. I hope you can see that little slot right there because you can put a pocket knife or a little screwdriver in there and I'm going to show you how to drive this, this baby. So see what happens is now the collar slides back and now you turn this to where it says reset and now you turn it, let's say you want to limit it at uh, four so it can't be turned up above or below that and then you just slide that collar and now you've got it locked at that one setting. So it's kind of like a, a, another tamper proof as far as somebody being able to adjust the temperature. Again, that might be good for a kid's room where you don't want them screwing around with it or a rental property or something like that. So that's how you drive that feature. Just take a little something, turn it to the slot, pop it back, turn it to the reset, adjust it to the number you want pop it back in and you're done. That's a great little feature. That's the thermostatic radiator valve. That's the uh, actuator part of it. And now we're going to do another separate video on the different bodies that we offer for this actuator to attach to.